Hi everyone, uh, today I got this Alesis SR16 drum machine which is a well-known uh, drum machine back in the days in the 1980s and 1990s we have heard this on many hit records and uh, surprisingly it's still in use recently a friend gave this to me and asked to program some drum patterns for him then he can play along uh, with this drum machine the more usual or the common way to program or to record a drum pattern to this drum machine is uh, by using these 12 pads on board so we have to uh, play the pattern using these pads and most of the time we have to go to the step editor and then uh, correct the mistakes that we have done when we play live uh, using these pads so I'm going to show you uh, how to use a DAW or a digital audio workstation like Cubase to program the drum pattern and then uh, record it real time onto this drum machine we have to use a 5 pin uh, MIDI cable uh, on this MIDI import on this drum machine as there's no USB and also uh, these are the main outs and this is the power socket at the back of the drum machine okay the machine is on and uh, as you can see it's in compose mode and the pattern is empty and the first thing is that we have to go to the MIDI setup to check few things uh, so you have to press this button so the machine is receiving MIDI from all the channels that's okay and the most important setting here is uh, this one the clock in so it should be on as the machine is receiving uh, MIDI clock information from Cubase and we don't have to worry about the other settings in this uh, page so we go back and we don't have to worry about the quantization if you want you can set it to uh, whatever you like but uh, we don't have to worry about it and also the tempo because uh, Cubase is controlling everything uh, while it's recording onto this drum machine and uh, I have used a user drum kit uh, for this demonstration So we are in Cubase and the first thing is that we have to configure the MIDI clock settings. So we have to go to the uh, transport menu and the project synchronization setup. And then in the destination tab, uh, we have to uh, check this box, the MIDI clock destination uh, to the desired MIDI port and uh, that's it so that's the most important setting that we have to do so uh, this is the pattern that I have uh, created uh, for this demonstration I used my MIDI keyboard to play this pattern and uh, did some editing uh, by changing the velocities of the notes uh. so I have done a two bar pattern here and uh, as you can see it's quite easy to program the pattern uh, by using a DAW rather than playing it on the drum machine itself you can see that uh, I haven't uh, started the pattern at measure 1 here and I have started that at measure 2 so there's a reason behind it if I start the pattern at uh, measure 1 and uh, start recording it to the drum machine uh, this first set of notes are uh, here as you can see uh, the drum machine ignores them I think it's because uh, the drum machine starts recording at the same time it receives the first set of notes so it ignores them so as a workaround, uh, I have uh, created the pattern starting from measure 2 
uh, and it's a two bar pattern and uh, the drum machine is also set up to record a two bar pattern so now uh, as soon as i hit play on cubase the message uh, goes to the drum machine and it starts recording straight away and here because the first bar is empty uh, the drum machine does not record anything and the drum machine starts recording from measure 2 and as you know the drum machine loops because it's a two bar pattern so the notes in measure 3 on cubase will be recorded to measure 1 in the drum machine because it's the same type of uh, pattern that is in measure 2 and measure 3 it won't be a problem the other option is to create the pattern in cubase starting from measure 3 and then measure 4 so in the drum machine it records from measure 1 and measure 2 so I think it's clear for you all so now we'll start recording this pattern uh, and uh, we'll see how it sounds like so now it's just uh, looping from the drum machine so here i'm going to show you the same thing uh, in the drum machine screen itself uh, it's in compose mode and it's ready to receive the pattern from Cubase. So it's recorded now and when you press play you will hear the pattern. So uh, that's how you record a drum pattern uh, using a DAW uh, to this uh, SR16 drum machine.